All right, I'm here with senior small forward, power forward. I don't know what to call you, but we're here with Grady Jepson, Mr. Do-It-All for the Riverside Bulldogs. Big Western Iowa Conference win tonight. Grady, just give the uh, a little bit of a comment on tonight's win. Oh, yeah, it was good to get back on track. I mean, we've had so many games canceled and no practices, so it's been tough, but we were able to work with what we had, and, you know, we, we got out to a big start, and they were able to kind of claw back in it, and we needed to play a little stronger, and we buckled down at the end when we had to. What were uh, some things that did you guys have some rust to knock off over some things you guys, you know, thought you could have didn't didn't do well in the first half, but then got got things rolling that third quarter, especially. Um, I mean, I felt like to start the game as a whole, I mean, we didn't have some shots fall. And then middle of the second quarter, I felt like we started to finally find our rhythm on offense. No practice yesterday and no games in a long time. So it's like finally we were in sync and we started to get a lot of open open threes, open mid range and finally started to get out and run on them a little bit. So when it comes down to it, I think this is going to be your guys' have five games in one week, you know, counting yeah. tonight. Yeah. You got a quick turnaround tomorrow. What do you got? What coach say about your guys' quick turnaround? Um, just hydrate. Everyone get some water, Gatorade right away, get something to eat, and take care of yourself tonight. And then we'll, we'll have something in the morning to get loose for tomorrow night, and then we'll hit the hardwood again. You guys excited to play in Sokol Arena tomorrow? That should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's really fun. We played last year, so hopefully a better turnout for us this year. Okay, excellent. And then uh, just looking forward to your week. You guys got, you know, with it being so many games, you guys are pretty young. It's you and Mason, you know, kind of the, the seniors leading the way, but you have contributing freshmen and sophomores. Uh, do you, what do you think it's going to be uh, hard on their table coming up? Uh, yeah, the freshmen have been big for us all year. I don't think, you know, to start the year, our schedule was like pretty evenly spaced, so it was nice, but so they haven't had to experience this like some of us have. So just being a senior leader, stepping up, saying, hey, like buckle down, like in timeouts or out in practice outside of the games, just mentally preparing them for what it might entail. Going to lead by example, I assume, huh? Yeah. All right, excellent. Grady, Jepson, big night, 24 points, led the way for the Riverside Bulldogs. Big Western Iowa Conference win. Grady, thanks so much for the interview and great game. Yeah, thank you. All right, I'm here with Coach Nick Crone of the Riverside Bulldogs. Coach Crone of the... Uh, you know, not very many games in 2024 so far. So <laughs> no. it's nice to finally uh, get one under your belt and, yeah. and get the win at, at that as well. So just give a little comment on tonight's win. Um, oh, that was a big win because we talked about it. It's not because we've lost a lot of games, but we haven't won since December. It's been one month, you know, with all the games off. So I thought you saw it a little bit early. I thought our guys came out with good energy. Um, I thought Missouri Valley matched our energy in the second half that we had. But you could see during the course of the game just kind of maybe fatigue for both teams. Um, you know, both of our shooting wasn't that great. Uh, I thought at times this is this is actually the first time we've held an opponent under 40% from the field this season, which is kind of surprising. That's been a goal of ours. We've been trying to tweak some defensive stuff, and really I think our defensive effort in the first half kind of propelled us uh, there, and it gave us a cushion because, I mean, Mobile Valley came out. They came out, and they were they were attacking, uh, and, we, and we just kind of went. We don't score us for a while. I don't know how long it was, but. Uh, no, it's a, it's a great win because you don't know right now if you're going to even play a game. You know, it's been right. One Touch day and go. And playing IKM and then Harlan Christian, and then you throw that away, and then you're starting to scout in Mo Valley. And and so, uh, no, I compliment Missouri Valley a lot for sticking in that because they could have went away. Uh, they did not. Uh, and then I compliment our guys finishing down the stretch, breaking the press, hitting free throws down the stretch. I thought that was huge and a compliment to our guys. So um, it, we've had really good battles with Mo Valley the last. Uh, two, three years, it seems to kind of come down to the wire. It's kind of been a theme, actually, the last three games with them. One, whoever has the double-digit lead at some point loses that double-digit lead, um, and the, they come back and win. So fortunately, this time, that didn't kind of play out that way like it did the last couple meetings. So really happy with the win, happy with what our guys what our guys did, and I thought they stayed really calm and focused. We talked about that in the locker room just down the stretch, like at moments, you know, when you get kind of amped up and you think maybe there's a foul here or or maybe come to the ball here and then everybody just kind of calmed each other down. I thought I really compliment our guys for keeping their heads, making good passes, meeting it, and then finishing at the free throw line. So, I mean, I don't want to get into the specifics of your scouting and stuff like that, but everyone knows Missouri Valley, they got Logger and they got Jansen, a two-headed monster of sorts. You commented on your defense doing it. Is Missouri Valley a special sort of scouting because they have two guys that just can really do it? Like, well, it's, it's two and they create matchup problems. Right. You know, they're, they're really downhill. They're really physical. I mean, like, Dane gets close to the rim and he gets he gets a lot of pivots and he can get uh, you know he can get to the hoop. Brody's just strong. You see a couple points of attack that puts you in a weird position where he gets that shoulder into you and he creates space. Um, not necessarily, not necessarily. I'm not saying a charge. I'm just saying it just makes it a hard matchup with who guards him. Uh, you know, even putting uh, Cole Jepson on a freshman, we saw that. up a lot of a lot of height. But you know, Cole Jepson showed a lot of resilience. Uh, the last time we played him, we switched him onto him. And that's what started our comeback because they were really trying. He was really getting stuff around the hoop. So. 
Um, yeah, they're, they're really tough to play. Just, I mean, two guys that average 18 points a game, they're both in that 6'3 to 6'4. Um, tonight, I thought Brody and, and Dane, you know, hit some big shots too outside the lane. We knew Dane is much more in the lane and Brody can mix it up a little bit more. So, um, yeah, they're, they're tough and our games have been close. So, um, you know, it's been it's been fun playing Missouri Valley the last the last couple of years. All right, definitely. And so quick turnaround tomorrow. You have no time to really to celebrate. You go to Sokol Arena. Yeah. Tomorrow, are you excited for that one? Take a play in the big arena for get your kids excited about it, especially those young freshmen and sophomores. Yeah. You know, it's really exciting because we played Mo Valley at Mo Valley last year. We got home at like eleven, and we had played the eight a.m. game, and so, <laughs> it was tough. But uh, the team we played ended up winning the state championship in a similar class in Nebraska. Um, so, you know, after the first quarter, we played with them pretty much the rest of the way. I think we were within five or six points. I was really, it was a really good experience for our guys getting on a big court, um, you know, seeing the crate and stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. We got a chance over the break to go see North Bend. Um, and, and they're a really physical team. They got really physical and quick guards. Um, and I, I really think we're going to match up pretty well. I think we have pretty similar records. Um, and I think they're eight and three now, but they had a game postponed tonight. So the experience playing someone from Nebraska on a big college court, uh, it was a really good time, and I know like Grady and some of the guys that got to play in it last year, they, um, they're like, oh, thanks, I'm glad you got you got us in this. So it's 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 just a neat thing to be able to do, and I'm really really thankful we're able to be part of it. So we've touched on the youth, and we've touched on that quick turnaround. You also have, I believe, five, including tonight, five games in one week. So you got Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday coming up. Yeah. What have you have to? I mean, what do you have to well, preach to your young players? Thursday, we I think it's just our JV. So I think next week we have three, but then it's like four all the way out. Is the school is the Iowa school deaf? Are they just JV? Yep. Okay. It's, it's it's on our our schedule. They play it. Uh, it's just been something we've always done. This gotcha. Kind of homecoming, so we bring our JV over uh, and play them. Uh, it's Nonetheless, cool. it's a slew of games yeah. for your young it's, guys. What are you going to tell them? On the roll on the road. Uh, we've actually been preaching just uh, hydration, hydration, and ways to get rest, rest your legs, proper nutrition. I mean, we've kind of been hitting on that pretty hard the last couple weeks. We'll see how that does. Sleep. Uh, you know, we talked even about sleep, about 10 hours and about your performance, uh, what it does for you, you know, psychologically and then also physically uh, and then and then pumping the fluids. So, um, you know, I, when I played, I really liked I really liked playing games. So I got to think for kids, it's pretty fun. Uh, I hope we can stay sharp throughout the process. So uh, between the scouting and, and hopefully some of those other little things we're going to be doing. Uh, we can stay sharp and, and get on a roll here right at the end of the season. All right, absolutely. Nonetheless, you got to celebrate tonight, <laughs> Coach. So, Coach Nick Crone, absolutely. big win tonight, Western Iowa Conference, winning 52-44 over Missouri Valley. Coach, congratulations on the win, and good luck tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a safe ride home.